Okay, I'll wait till everyone jumps on. <clears throat> Hello, Gamer Gang. How's everyone doing tonight? Oh, what a day. It's been a long but productive day today. I, uh... What was I going to say? Um... Only thing I got going on tomorrow is the watch party, so we gonna see if I can stay up a little later tonight and get some, uh, at least one more stream in. I know I'm definitely gonna do at least one more, um, uh, but it really depends on how long we play this. Now, this game is called Contradiction. It is a full motion video um murder mystery type of game is actually from the same producers or the same developers that made um at dead of night with jimmy and uh maya <laughs> so um we might notice some little similarities or whatever i did hear the little ding sound the little ding the, the hotel bell i did hear that when i started this up and it was kind of like oh wow they literally just used the same sound um so i think what we're looking for in this game i hope it's not just a bunch of like interviews like the other game was but i guess we're going to be looking for holes and contradictions in people's stories um the game itself had really 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 positive reviews and i just wanted to switch it up um i felt like some of the streams have just kind of been kind of monotonous and um you know it, it's just been it's been a little dry you know resident evil 8 has been kind of disappointing I was going to play it tonight. I just, I ain't, I ain't feel like it. We'll get to the end eventually. So I'm thinking we're, we'll play this. And I'll also do part two of Tales of Hysteria. And anything else after that, we'll just play it by ear. So, so Phoenix Wright. Possibly, you know, I, I guess it would be somewhat similar to that, which I'm actually thinking of bringing that back as well. <laughs> now, because that game really challenged my voice acting. But anyways, let's go. Let's do it. I'm excited. OK, so let's see the instructions first. <laughs> Kate Vine drowned in a lake in the woods just outside of Edenton Village last n last Friday night. The game starts one week later on Friday at 5 p.m. You can guide Jinx around the village in two ways. You can follow the direction arrows to move to adjacent locations or open the map and select a location marked with a pin. When you are waiting at a location, you can open your inventory and scroll through your collected items, which includes physical objects and information Jinx has collected. Physical items can sometimes be used. A hand symbol is shown, which you can select. You can also see previous replies to each item, either clicking beneath the description or pressing the left controller button. If you see the magnifying glass, it means Jinx has seen something interesting. Press the investigate button to see him find out what it is. If he can, he'll collect the item and it will be added to your inventory. At some locations, you'll find one of the villagers you can interview. After Jinx introduces himself, you'll get the opportunity to ask them about any item in your inventory. When they've replied, the panel beneath the inventory shows a summary of their reply. You'll see this every time you select that item. Okay, so it sounds like it's very similar to at Data Night. Now you can start looking for contradictions. These must be from the same interviewee, but from two different items. When you select a reply, it will be added to the contradiction box on the right. Pair two contradictory replies and watch as they turn green and Jinx interrogates the suspect. 
This will lead to new information and often a new chapter progressing the game an hour at a time until you reach midnight. New chapters introduce new scenes and often open up new locations to explore, things to find, and suspects to meet. If you get stuck, first make sure you've asked everyone about all the items in your inventory. Then make a visit to the call box in West Lane. Jinx will speak to the chief inspector and you should get a clue as to what to do next. You can also try tips from the main menu to help you through the game. These will advise you on what to do next and when to call the chief. If you're really stuck, try a cheat. This will give you a big clue, but it will be added to your cheat count. So try not to use too many. The victim. Kate Vine was a PhD student found drowned at midnight last Friday in a lake in the woods on the outskirts of the tiny village Edenton. The lab report indicated a high level of alcohol in her blood at the time of death, along with traces of morphine. The alcohol is consistent with her medical records, which reveal a history of depression and alcoholism. However, the origin of the morphine remains a mystery. Atlas. Kate had joined a controversial business course called Atlas, based in a large stately home just outside the village. Kate had been attending the course on the night of her death. Atlas is run by father and, by father and son team Paul and Ryan Rand. Both were interviewed following Kate's death, but neither claimed to have seen Kate after the meeting, and both were understandably eager to distance themselves and Atlas from the tragedy. This isn't the first time Atlas has been investigated. Rumors have been circulating for years surrounding Atlas and their questionable methods, which, have, which many have suggested border on mind control. Rebecca Rand Ryan is married to Rebecca, landlady of Edenson Village Pub, the George and Dragon. As yet, she hasn't been interviewed. As the hub of the village, the pub will have been known to most of the villagers, and Rebecca has often hosted local bands and village events. Also, given Kate's alcoholism, it's likely she visited the pub on more than one occasion. Simon and Emma. One of Kate's friends from college was Emma Bowman, who lives with her boyfriend Simon at Eden Lodge on the road to the woods. Simon Thompson met Emma at university. After completing his degree 18 months ago, he went to work at a shop in the neighboring village. Emma was shocked to hear of Kate's death. She didn't attend Atlas, but Simon joined a few months ago. Simon claimed he didn't see Kate after the meeting, but seemed unmoved by her death. Okay, I think we're ready. Fuck, y'all can't even hear. All this time, y'all ain't been hearing shit. The hell? All right, <laughs> let's try this again. My name is Jenks, Detective Inspector Frederick Jenks, and I've been assigned to a last-minute investigation into the death of Kate Vine, a PhD student found drowned at midnight last Friday in a lake in the woods on the outskirts of the tiny village of Edenton. I have until first thing tomorrow morning to decide whether her death was a simple accident or whether this was murder. Kate Vine appeared to the world to be a bright, confident, fun-loving PhD student with everything to live for. However, a history of depression and alcoholism revealed in her medical records suggests that in reality, she had become adept at hiding behind a mask. A lab report indicating a high level of alcohol in her blood, along with the late hour of her death and a lack of witnesses, makes a strong case that this was suicide. But the verdict overlooked some curious details. Why was her driving license found on the opposite side of the lake in which she drowned? Also, hmm. there were traces of morphine in Kate's system. Where did she get it? 
Kate was known to be a free spirit with a nihilistic love of danger, which may, in part, have something to do with a business course called Atlas, which Kate had joined and which she had been attending on the night of her death. Based in a large, stately home on the outskirts of the village, the exclusive Atlas is run by father and son team, Paul and Ryan Rand. Both were interviewed following Kate's death, but neither claimed to have seen Kate after the meeting, and both were understandably eager to distance themselves and Atlas from the tragedy. This isn't the first time that Atlas has been investigated. Atlas and their questionable methods, which many have suggested border... I just read all this. Ryan is married to Rebecca, landlady of Edenton's village pub, the George and Dragon. As yet, she hasn't been interviewed, though it's likely Kate visited the pub on more than one occasion. One of Kate's friends was Emma Bowman, who lives at Eden Lodge on the road leading out of Edenton Village. Emma was also doing a PhD at the same university, but didn't attend Atlas. Interviewed after Kate's death, Emma seemed shocked and upset, insisting she hadn't seen Kate that night. However, it turned out her boyfriend had. Simon Thompson met Emma at university. After completing his degree around 18 months ago, he went to work at a shop in the neighboring village. He started at the Atlas course a few months ago. Simon insisted that he didn't see Kate after the meeting, but the sergeant interviewing him noted he seemed oddly unmoved by her death, which makes him the first person I want to see tonight. It's time for some answers. Okay. I, I want to start. I want to start. What the, what's happening? Let me start. What the hell? Nothing is clicking. It's highlighted, but I can't click it. Okay. I'm just going to restart this. <laughs> the game said no. I clicked instructions, it, it wouldn't register, nothing happened. My name is Jenks. We Detective already seen Inspector this. Frederick Jenks, and I've been assigned to a last minute investigation into the death of Kate Vine, a PhD student found drowned. Welcome to Edenton Village. Click the arrows to move around the village. If you see the magnifying glass, try your investigate button to see Jinx investigate. Click the inventory icon to see your collected items, which includes both physical objects and information Jinx has collected. If you're at a location where you think you can use a physical item, try to use icon. Um, where's the icon at? Kate's driving license. Kate's driving license was found on the bank of the lake near Kate's body with a piece of tape attached. Okay. Better do a spot of investigating around Eden Lodge. 
You also have things you haven't asked Simon and Emma about yet. Was that a cheat? Show tips. Show map. Show inventory. Return to main menu. Yeah, the tape is sketchy. Okay. Simon and Emma. Trying to see if I can interact with anything. Very trusting, leaving a bike unlocked. At his house? Looks like uh, homebrew equipment. Ah, this might come in handy. Oh, thief? Where this is going so far. Is it Simon? Uh, yeah. Detective Inspector Jenks, I'm investigating an incident in the village. Could I come in and ask you a few questions, please? Um, yeah. Thank you. Uh, we can just go through here if you want. Uh, Emma's working in the front room. Hi. This is Inspector Jenks. Jenks. What's all this about? There was a death in the village. Kate Vine, I believe you both knew her. Yeah. Do you need to speak to both of us? Uh, I'll just speak to Simon first, if that's okay. Just come through. Is it okay in here? Oh, this will be fine, yeah. Do you want anything? Water? No, 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 I won't be long. Okay. Your first interview. First, pick an item you want to ask about. Then click Ask to see what Jinx, to see Jinx ask about it. When you've heard the reply, you'll see a summary of what was said in the box at the bottom. Simon said blah blah blah. He also said blah blah, and he said blah blah da blah. <laughs> Clicking any item you've already asked about shows the summary of the replies beneath. Now click any reply to add to the contradiction box to the right. You can add two replies at a time. Okay, now you can start looking for contradictions. Find two contradictory replies and add them to the contradiction box. If they go green, sit back and watch Jinx interrogate your interviewee. When was the last time you saw Kate Vine? Um... So, last Friday's meeting, I think. Did you see her after the meeting? No. How long have you known Kate? That would be when we started Atlas. Three months ago? Three months ago. Did you socialise outside Atlas? No. How would you describe her? Uh, what sort of person was she? Well, she's talented. Uh, she was full of life, you know? Sharp, quite sharp. Would you say she had any emotional problems? She, her mood, her mood could change. And, well, there was the drinking problem. When did you become aware of that? Well, she would come drunk to a meeting sometimes. And she would reek of the stuff. I mean, everyone knew, but nobody really said anything. So, tell me a bit about Atlas. Oh, it's just a business management training program for postgrads. 
And you started this after you left college? Uh, yeah. And it's on every Friday? Yeah, well, my group isn't doing it this Friday, but uh, one of the groups is. Okay, thanks. Okay. Did you know whether Kate had lost this or not? No. No, I don't think so. I've never seen it before. Hmm. Which is the bike outside? Oh, that's my cousin's. He lent me it. Uh, I need to buy a new lock for it, though. So it's your bike at the moment? Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's no bus service to speak of around here, so it's really the only way to get around. No car. I noticed a lot of bottles outside. Are they yours? Yeah, I'm at homeroom. For yourself? Well, no, I give it out to my friends and stuff. I tried selling it at first, but I didn't have any takers. Except for James over at Farmhouse. I, I used to trade it to him for, for herbs and stuff. Do you see James a lot? No, not really. I think we're done here. Thank you. Probably be back later. Don't worry, it's only a few questions. Yeah. Oh, she got herpes. When was the last time you saw Kate Vine? It was last Thursday in the college library. Um, I saw her and we chatted for a bit. She seemed her usual self. Last Thursday, Marbury. Usual self. Oh, just Kate being Kate. You know, a bit wild. Wild? In what way wild? Oh, she just used to question everything, you know. Have arguments with the lecturers, things like that. What else? Kate had a drink problem. How noticeable was that? Well, it wasn't at first, but... As the year went on, she'd be drunk in the afternoon. But I th think she cut down, you know, towards the end of college and when she started her PhD. Kate was argumentative at college. Did you know whether Kate had lost this or not? Um, I don't know, but I, I don't think so. Okay. Hmm. Whose is the bike outside? Oh, it's Simon's cousin's. He uses it to get to work. You know the lock's broken. Oh, I know. I keep telling him to fix it. What's the stack of bottles outside? Oh, that's all Simon's stuff. You better ask him. I, I don't know. Have you ever tried Simon's homebrew? Me? <laughs> no. I don't like beer. I only drink wine. I can't stand spirits either. A key. Uh, that's all for the moment. Thank you. That's a contradiction right there. She says she had cut down when she started her PhD, but Simon says she was showing up drunk. I think I have to find a contradiction between one person now. But he said he ain't really socialized with her except at Atlas, so Be back later on if that's okay. I guess he wouldn't know. <laughs> Best to knock on the window for Emma. Simon always answers the front door. Okay. 
Okay. We need some more information. Abby Farm, Paul and Ryan. Let's go back. Let's see where the body was found. Looks like a piece of jewelry there, stuck between the boards. Well and truly wedged in. Yes. Forensics have checked the whole area. Obviously, not very well. What is that? Broken pendant. Okay. Oh, I love the different perspectives. Creepy. I don't want to go to Atlas just yet, but I wait. Hold up, no. Damn it, I'm going the wrong way. Might as well. I think. Oh, okay. This is how Alabama forests look. All right, I'm gonna just use the map. Okay, so nothing going on here. Call the chief. Well, forget you too. All right, well, let's go ask about the pendant. A few more questions, if you don't mind. Ever seen this? Looks like, uh... That's my old necklace. I gave this to Kate. So Kate might have been wearing it last Friday. 
Yeah, well, perhaps, but I can't see why. She was always buying new things, you know, lots of jewellery, stuff like that. It's meant to be a bird in cage, but the cage's fallen off. Oh, I'll show you. Where did you buy it? I didn't. Some wanted present. Secret admirer? Mm, not so secret. I see. That's how it should have looked. It's called a freedom necklace. Do you mind if I keep this? No, not at all. So the necklace did belong to Kate. Interesting. I'm starting to wish I'd brought a spare evidence bag. Okay. Unwanted gift. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you. <laughs> uh, a few more questions, if you don't mind. You know what this is? Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have one like it. Why is he loud? Actually, you know what, Kate had one. I remember because I asked her about it one night when we were all out drinking in college. I was probably pretty drunk. That's what college is all about. Hmm. Do we have any contradictions yet? Wait, hold on. No, no. No. What? He was out drinking in college if he only met her three months ago. Wait a minute, they were out drinking! You can't drink at college! Damn it! It didn't work. <laughs> I guess you could drink, but. Nah, I don't think that's it. Thank you. Probably be back later. Rebecca, where your bitch ass at? I don't like this. Why the hell is she not? That's what I said. But I couldn't find the contradiction. Let me, I'll try one more time. <laughs> I said, look, you saw me try. You saw me try. Couple more questions, if that's okay. There's nothing. Let me see. Hold on. Let me just replay it. You know what this is? Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm going to have one like it. Actually, you know what? Kate had one. I remember because I asked her about it one night when we were all out drinking in college. I was probably pretty drunk. That's what college oh, is all about. They were drinking at college. Well, wait, hold up. At college? It's not working! Look, I tried it. I, I pressed the thing before. It didn't do nothing. Leave me alone. Thank I know you. what I'm Probably doing. Back later. Shit.
Let me check Emma. A few more questions, please. Thank you. <laughs> Ever seen this? Looks like, uh... That's my old necklace. I gave this to Kate. So Kate might have been wearing it last Friday. Yeah, well, perhaps, but I can't see why. She was always buying new things, you know, lots of jewellery, stuff like that. It's meant to be a bird in cage, but the cage's fallen off. Oh, I'll show you. Where did you buy it? I didn't. Some wanted present. Secret admirer? Mm, not so secret. Not so see? secret. That's how it should have looked. It's called a freedom necklace. Do you mind if I keep this? No, not at all. What does the card say? Alex James. James. Where have we heard that name before? That's all for the moment. Thank you. Click on the three months. All right. Ask you a couple more things, please. I don't think so. Ah. Oh. So how did you know Kate was wearing a freedom necklace 18 months ago at college? Well, I, I knew Kate at college, but I, I didn't get to know her till, till we started Atlas. Right. So you didn't socialise with her at college? No. And you didn't socialise with her outside of Atlas? Uh, no. You didn't see her outside Atlas at all? Um... No, no, <laughs> not at all. 6 p.m. unlocked. So Simon did know Kate at college, but why would he lie about that? Maybe he knows Kate better than he's willing to admit. 6 o'clock. I wonder if Rebecca's working in the pub tonight. Great job, Michaela. You caught it. I told you. You ain't tell me shit, nigga. You ain't tell me shit. Um, this game is from the same developers that made um, Ed Data Night, so that's why they got similar sound effects. Inspector Jenks. Rebecca, is it? Yeah. Mm. There's been an uh, incident in the village. I'm conducting an investigation. Could I ask you a few questions, please? Right. Come through. Thank you. What's it about? There's been an unexplained death locally. Not sure if you've heard. The student? Yes. Yes, it was dreadful news. You're married to Ryan, one of the Atlas leaders, yes? I suppose I am, yes. Well, I just wanted to ask a few questions about Kate and Atlas, if that's okay. I don't know if I'll be able to answer any of them, but sure. Did you know Kate? Not very well. She came in a few times, but she was quite a moody person. You could tell she had problems. When was the last time you saw her? Friday. She popped in for a minute. And when was that? Uh, seven-ish. Was she on her own? I didn't see who she was with. She put 20 pounds on the bar and then left. What was that for? A breakage, presumably. 20 pounds? Just for a beer glass? <laughs> well, she was very drunk. She just put it on the bar and then walked out. Was there a broken glass? Not that I noticed. But she was a strange girl. Hmm. Have you seen this before? <clears throat> no, sorry. So you didn't know if Kate had lost it? No idea.
Wait a minute, bitch. How the hell you wouldn't know her license when she come up in there to drink? Don't you gotta check these hoes? I got her ass. How the, how the, how the, how the, how the, mm-mm. Nah, bitch. Nah, bitch. Come out, come out. Turn green. Damn it. Fuck. All right. Lying ass. Know anything about Simon Thompson's homebrew? Does he make homebrew? Apparently. No, we do buy from a microbrewery, but we don't usually buy from kitchen breweries. Do you recognize this? I've seen students wearing them. It has some sort of meaning, doesn't it? I forget what it is now. Seen anyone wearing one recently? Not that I can remember. Do you recognize this? I've seen students wearing them. It has some sort of meaning, doesn't it? I forget what it is now. Seen anyone wearing one recently? Not that I can remember. Hmm. Okay. Mm. I don't think we have anything. Later on, if that's okay. Where's all this noise coming from? I don't see a damn person. Press the bell. It just called um, Rebecca. Let's check in with old Simon and Emma. Just a few more questions, if you don't mind. Be back later. Ask about a few more things, please. I wanted you to question her statements. No, Emma doesn't like beer, she only drinks wine. Uh, that's it for the time being. Thank you. Hmm? Who is it? 
I'm a police officer. Detective Inspector Jenks. It's all right. You can carry on if you want to. I'm just going. <laughs> I'm investigating a, a death in the village, Cape Vine. There was a death recently Hello, in the... Hello, I knew her. Well, could I ask you a few questions, please? A bit dark. Well, if you give me your name and address, I'll come later on. Where do you live? The farmhouse. And what's your name? All right, at least we got somebody now. He got the hell on. I think because he was caught so off guard. Time to meet the father and son. Ryan was interviewed in the lounge, according to the report. That must be his office. Interesting. Okay. How do I get to the farm? According to the map, Abbey Farm is across the road there. Right, what was the point? Could I ask you a few more questions, please? Didn't take you long. Haven't got much time. Just close the doors, shall I? Where do you want to sit? Oh, anywhere is fine. I uh, didn't quite catch your name. James. Sit there. Thank you, James. Why are you asking me about Cape Vine? Routine. You know Simon, don't you? Thompson. Why? What did he say? That you all went to college together, you and Kate. Is that right? Might have done. Right. Good enough. Jane's kind of cute to me. I mean, even with the receding hairline, we could work on it. Get him some rogue game. When was the last time you saw Kate Vine? Can't remember. How did you know her? Uh, through Simon. His girlfriend was mates with her. Saw her around college a few times. Did you socialize with her much? Nah. She wasn't my type. <laughs> oh. Okay, well, what's your type? Did you know whether Kate had lost this or not? Or some coochie cream? <laughs> no idea. What do you know about Simon's bike? What bike? You haven't seen him on a bike. I haven't seen him. When was the last time you saw him? About a month ago. Okay. Uh, 
Have you uh, ever tried Simon's homebrew? Thompson's tar? Yeah, I've tried it. Did he sell it? Well, not to me, not for money anyway. We used to trade James stuff. James is cute. What, what you are you talking about? I make a nice herbal tea as it happens. Him and his girlfriend were into it. What was his beer like? Lethal. Strong. Knock your eyes out. I think it's the smile. I'm a sucker for a nice smile. Ever seen one of these before? Freedom necklace. I don't think so. That same one that's like, we all know who that is. <laughs> You ain't see any contradictions yet? Don't recognize the necklace or the card. Okay, that's a wrap. Saw Simon a month ago. Can I reorganize these? Simon's homebrew is very strong. Strong enough to kill, I mean, get Kate drunk? Hmm. Thank you. Probably be back later. Right, James is definitely hiding something. Let's see what we find in here. Thank you, hello, hi, chow. Ooh, what do we find? Picture frames with black painted glass. Very interesting. Photo frames with their glass painted black were seen at the greenhouse, the farm. Okay. Let's ask about that. Oh, James. Couple more questions, if that's okay. Now, what's all this stuff in the workshop? Paint and stencils and things like that. Just a little sideline of mine. Oh, you do picture framing. They're black mirrors. Scrying mirrors. Oh, law, he crazy. Now, what's a scrying mirror? Show you one if you want. Always pick the crazies. Scrying goes back centuries. The ancient Persians did it. This country pagans still practice it. The fortune tellers pretend to do it. That's what the crystal ball's all about. It's all scrying. The mirror's just one way of doing it. But what is scrying? Depends who you are. People do it for different reasons. What sort of reasons? Exploring your mind. Clearing your mind. Communicating with the dead. Oh my god! Is that what you use them for, James? Communicating with the dead? <laughs> and they make them for other people these days. Like there's a market who? for these, is there? Lots of people want to talk to the dead. 
even if they don't believe in it. Do you make a profit on them? <laughs> I don't do it for the money. I'm very charitable of you. Can I keep this? Keep it. Thank you. Black mirrors and hookah pipes. I wonder what else James is into. Oh, you know what he into. Makes black, black glass mirror which are used for scrying in ancient pagan practice. any contradictions hmm okay let's go ask, for the moment. let's Thank go you. ask around yeah I want to know who he made the mirrors for too let's ask around and see I bet it's Rebecca that bitch look weird Where's Paul and Ryan? He said he hasn't seen Simon in a month, but he didn't know about the bike. Oh, this that means the scrying mirror was like a it was homage in at day to night, because he definitely had one. Or um Maya did. Okay. A few more questions, please. I can't press them unless there's a contradiction. Have you seen one of these before? Is it meant to be black like that? I think so. No. later on if that's okay listen I got this all under control I know what I'm doing always nice to randomly find a key on the floor Silver key. Damn it. I'll ask you a couple more things, please. Ever seen? One of these. <laughs> yeah, that's one of James's. He's into like new age stuff, mysticism, magic spells, that sort of thing. Oh, Lord. He's nuts, though. I mean, he thinks the government are tracking him or something. <laughs> Why would he think that? Well, I don't know. You'd have to ask him. That's it.
He says he doesn't see James very often. Which that's what James said. Who's just the bike outside? Oh, that's my cousin's. He lent me it. Uh, I need to buy a new lock for it, though. So it's your bike at the moment? Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's no bus service to speak of around here, so it's really the only way to get around. All right. Okay, that's it for now. Thank oh, I'm, I meant to go visit Emma. Shit. A few more questions, if you don't mind. Have you seen one of these before? Is that from James? Now, what do you know about James? That he's creepy. He was selling them last Friday at the market. There's, there's a market every week type thing. And uh, I usually go there for lunch. So you wouldn't buy one of these? No, I wouldn't. But Kate would. Was she uh, into this sort of thing? No, I, I, I don't think so. She bought one, and uh, I went round to her flat to try it out. You're meant to see ghosts or spirits or something. It doesn't work. How do you use it? You're just meant to stare into it. Shall I show you? Go ahead. Okay, so you just... You just stare, stare like this. And... Uh, then you see... See what? Sorry, um... <laughs> uh, look, uh, you, you're meant to see a ghost or something. Look, it doesn't work. <sighs> Didn't work, sir. It didn't work, but you damn sure knew how to use it. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. James was selling them Friday. She said she only saw Kate on Thursday. Lion, help up. Wait, why ain't it work? Why, why ain't it work? <laughs> Wait. Come on. Okay. It's supposed to turn green when you find a contradiction, but... Oh, I thought I had her. No, it has to be, so there has to be something. to be something there didn't James say he makes rents for certain people now he was selling them at the market <sighs> it's something with this mirror I know it is I know it is come on the writer think think Is the bike outside? Oh, it's Simon's cousin's. He uses it to get to work. You know the lock's broken. Oh, I know. I keep telling him to fix it.
damn it. Thank you. Probably be back later. All right, we need to find out where to use this key. <laughs> she hates spirits, but was trying to conjure up some spirits on Friday. I don't know. No use for the key here. What does this say? No, I found the key at the, uh, what's it called? The, um, he ain't gone. I tried to open it. It wouldn't open. for the key here. Open Sesame. We only got 4% progress. This is going to be a long ass game. by the look of it. Might have to ask about that. <gasps> oh! <laughs> the tape! It's the tape! It's the tape! Look at it! Look at it! Never saw the license, but the tape is on it. Bitch is lying. Lying, I see. Jackpot. 
wonder whose mask this is? Rebecca's or Ryan's? Just looks like junk, but it's too dark to tell. So what you're saying is we need a light. if you don't mind. Do you know what this is? Oh, you'll have to ask Ryan about that. So this is Ryan's. It's to do with one of Ryan's methods on the course. Go on. Well, masks allow you to play it being someone different for a while. Students find it quite liberating. So this would be for a student? I think that one's Ryan's, but students do wear them, yes. Hmm. How did the window get broken out round the back? I don't actually know. Um, someone said two girls were arguing outside. I found out after they'd gone. And when was this? Last Friday, just after we opened, about half past six. I taped over it until I can get it fixed. We don't want people getting cut and suing us. Does that sort of thing happen a lot? Arguments? No, not really. I'm quite strict when that comes to boring clients I don't think are um, suitable. Come on! Come on! You know that tape was... <sighs> Saw Kate in the pub last Friday at 6 p.m. Wait, at 6? At 7. 7 p.m. Thank you. Probably be back later. When did Kate die? I think she died at midnight. I don't even know. Let me not even do that. <gasps> the window! Oh my god! The breakage! A couple more questions, if that's okay. gave you 20 pounds for a breakage, but you didn't have a breakage. That's right. Do you think the payment could have been for the broken window? Could it have been Kate who was arguing? Well, I suppose it could have been, yeah. It could have been Kate, you're probably right, yeah. But you don't know who she was arguing with? No, I'm not sure. I'll ask around. Realising Kate had broken the window, Rebecca really should have worked that out before now, unless she did. But why would she lie about that? That's all for the moment. Thank you. Hmm. Now I'm trying to go to the farm. To 
see Jane's old crazy ass. A few more questions, please. Thank you. Ever seen this before? No, should I have? No, it's okay. Know anything about an argument at the pub last Friday? No. Why are you never looking at me when he talking? Know anything about a broken window at the pub? Don't go to the pub. You've never been to the pub. Didn't say that. I've been to the pub, but not for about two months, three months. He too busy scrying. Okay. Next. Be back later on if that's okay. Do you sell a mirror to Kate? I can't ask that. It would make sense to ask him, but. <laughs> in the pub last Friday. No, I wasn't there. You weren't in the village? No, I went home last... last Thursday night, actually, to see my parents. But you do visit the pub. Oh, yeah, I mean, I, I know Rebecca quite well. We we all went there quite a bit after college. This bitch is lying! How did you go home when you said you saw Kate in the library on Thursday? Wait. Wait. Right, right on it. Damn. I, I, I guess she saw her before she went home on Thursday. Shit. on Thursday night, that right? Uh, yes. But you said you saw James at the market on Friday. He, um, no, I went to, um, I went to see my parents on Friday night. What time did you go on Friday? Um, eight or nine. And you didn't see Kate at all on Friday? No. You're not a very good liar, Emma. Okay. I saw Kate. Where? At the pub, we were arguing. Go on. What were you arguing about? I, I'd lent her fifty pounds because she was desperate, and we were just arguing. I, I, it didn't really bother me. She just didn't have it. And Kate broke the window. Yes. She, she did things like that when she was angry. Smash things. Yes. So it was Emma arguing with Kate. But why didn't she want to admit it? In case it gave her a motive. Or something else. Mm. 
ever seen this before? Nope, I haven't, sorry. I think I'd have remembered it. Know anything about a broken window at the pub around the back? The pub? Um, a broken window at the back? Yeah, yeah I saw it was broken. When was that? I was in the pub on Monday with a college friend. Lesk saw Kate on Friday, not Thursday. Lent Kate money because Kate needed it. What do you mean? What am I doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm cross-referencing. See, y'all don't know how the game works. Y'all just want to sit there and yell at me. Thank you. Probably be back later. Know anything about an argument at the pub last Friday? No, I didn't go to the pub last Friday. What did you do after the course? Just went home. Came here. Just came straight back. Hmm. Have a look at this. Know anything about that? I haven't seen this one, but it looks a lot like an atlas mask. Uh, we use them for some of the um, some of the workshops and stuff. Really? How? Oh. Well, you um, you have to say something uh, boastful or uh, or arrogant. You do it first without the mask, and then you say it with a mask. And the point is? Well, it's easier when you have the mask on, isn't it? People are not as afraid to be free about themselves, you know. How did you find out about Atlas? Well, it was advertised. Um, actually, I think I've still got the... Uh, Hold up, what you got? <clears throat> this is the advert that was at my college. Uh, to be honest, I've learned more in three months at Atlas than I did in three years at business school. Can I keep that? Yeah, go for it. I suppose that might be useful as a conversational starter. He wouldn't know about this. Do you know anything about a broken window at the pub? No, I don't really go to the pub very often. I'm not exactly a pub person.
Okay. Uh, that's it for the time being. Thank you. What do you know about Atlas? I know that it's, um, it's a business course. I went with Simon when he first went, but it wasn't really my thing. How often did you go? Just the once. And you decided it wasn't for you? Yeah, I'd been to something similar, so I decided it wasn't for me. Okay. Thank you. Probably be back later. Yeah, he saw Kate at the uh, Atlas meeting. And afterwards, he went home. Go twice as high. Take a look, it's in a book. A reading rainbow. Where the hell is Paul and Ryan? These mofos. if you don't mind. Ever seen one of these? Seen them around college. What do you know about it? Not much. It's a business course. Ask Simon. He's on it. You wouldn't be interested in that sort of thing. <sighs> and you haven't discussed it with Simon? Not really. Business doesn't interest me. Oh, he ain't got no ambition? Mm-mm. So he crazy, he into magic and shit, and he ain't got no ambition. It's a no for me, dog. Alright, let's try Rebecca. Ask about a few more things, please. 
about this? It's an advertisement. They had it designed by an agency, I think. And when was that? Last year sometime. Where is this Ryan? Be back later on, if that's okay. Chief, I had a confession from Emma Bowman. It turns out she was arguing with Kate last Friday outside the pub. Kate broke the window. That's what the money was for. Uh-huh. What were they arguing about? Money. Uh. Emma says she'd lent some to Kate, but Kate hadn't paid it back. So Kate had money problems, so she broke a window and then paid Rebecca back for it. <laughs> Something doesn't add up there, Jenks. It doesn't make sense, does it? Yeah. Call me back when you know some more. Okay. Speak later, Chief. Uh. Okay. Couple more questions, if that's okay. How am I going to get her? Okay, that's it for now. Thank you. A contradiction somewhere. A few more questions, please. It's a broken window pub. Broken pub window. I don't know what to put, but the chief definitely wanted me to check out Emma. Last saw Kate on Friday, not Thursday. Kate appeared her usual self. When was the last time you saw Kate Vine? It was last Thursday in the college library. Um, I saw her and we chatted for a bit. She seemed her usual self. What was her usual self? Oh just Kate being Kate, you know, a bit wild. Wild? In what way wild? Oh, she just used to question everything, you know. I have arguments with the lecturers, things like that. What else? Kate had a drink problem. How uh, noticeable was that? Well, it wasn't at first, but as the year went on, she'd be drunk in the afternoon. I think she cut down, you know, towards the end of college and when she started her PhD.
My head hurts. Come on. Think, Narada, think. Wait a minute. Damn. What y'all got? What y'all what got? Kate had a drink problem at college. Click on the mirror. <laughs> I'm about to cheat. The chief said there's some type of contradiction between Emma lending Kate money and Kate needing money, but Kate paying $20 to fix the window. How am I pulling that out? about a broken window at the pub around the back the pub um a broken window at the back yeah i thought it was broken when was that i was in the pub on monday wait a minute friend. you're right bitch you lent her money but then here she go buying fucking mirrors and shit It's not working. Thank you. Probably be back later.
The chief pointed out that if Kate was desperate for money, why did she break a window and then why did she own up and give Rebecca some money for it? Chief, I had a confession from Emma Bowman. It turns out she was arguing with Kate last Friday outside the pub. Kate broke the window. That's what the money was for. Uh-huh. What were they arguing about? Money. Uh. Emma says she'd lent some to Kate, but Kate hadn't paid it back. So Kate had money problems, so she broke a window and then paid Rebecca back for it. <laughs> Something doesn't add up there, Jenks. It doesn't make sense, does it? Yeah. Call me back when you know some more. Okay. Speak later. Uh, ask you a couple more things, please. Come on, Narada. You're so close. She saw Kay break the window because she was arguing on Friday. But she says she saw... Nope. That, that would be a contradiction, but I don't know why it's not registering. money to Kate because she was desperate but she bought loads of jewelry and things so why were you lending her money well no it's because um it, well, it's... it wasn't about money was it Emma no go on what was it really about we were arguing because she was going to blackmail Ryan the guy from Atlas over an affair he was having and then tell his wife if he didn't give her the money Ryan's affair with hey? Kate. <gasps> no, I don't know. I think he was having an affair with another student and Kate found out. Oh. And were you involved? Because I didn't really agree with it. I didn't agree with what she was doing, even if he did have an affair. Were you friends with Ryan? No, I'd never met him. You just thought Kate was wrong? Yeah. Hmm, not sure about this. Emma's either on a moral crusade, or there's another reason she was worried about Kate blackmailing Ryan. <sighs> Kate wanted to blackmail Ryan over his affair try to persuade Kate to not blackmail Ryan <coughs> has never met Ryan all right as soon as we beat this chapter She met Ryan. <gasps> oh! Oh! Hold up! Hold up! 
Was it you? Was you the, the cheating hussy? Emma said that the broken necklace was an unwanted gift. That would explain why she would want to hide the argument. She went to Atlas once, but never met Ryan. Aha. Ooh, good one, you Superior Vibes. You went to an Atlas meeting with Simon. Yes. That's interesting, because I happen to know that Ryan is the main lecturer at Atlas. Her in these faces. Why did you say you don't know him? Okay, I, I need I need to tell you something. I just need to make sure Simon doesn't find out. I won't be telling Simon anything he doesn't have to hear. And you can't tell Rebecca either. Go on. Ooh. Okay, so the affair. I know it. I know it. Was between Ryan and I. I was having the affair, and Kate knew. So Kate was blackmailing both of you? No, she didn't care about me. It was part of the course, you see, having to take all these risks. She thought it was funny to turn her back on Ryan. She thought I wouldn't care. But you did. Yes, I was already with Simon when Ryan and I, you know, and I didn't want Simon finding out, and Kate thought that he wouldn't, but I didn't want her risking it. And then if Rebecca found out, then Simon would definitely have found out, and then it would have blown up and it would have just been a big mess. And so you just argued and what? Well, she just stormed off and broke a window. And that was it? You didn't see her again that night? No. Are you sure? Yes. I promise. Oh! Uh. Yes! Wait, Seven o'clock. So, Ryan's a bit of Lothario, is he? I think it's time I met this Ryan Rand face to face. We're out of here! thinking hi okay so um didn't we play this game before it wouldn't like it so basically this game is similar to at dead of night but um it's a mystery game similar to um the pains creek killings except this one actually has people in the game in that one, we didn't... Did we interact with anyone? No, we just kept finding clues. Until we met up with Father Matthew, and you know how that turned out. Ooh. But, um, man. Um. Let's see, what y'all want to play tonight? Um, uh, we got some options let me show y'all what i got 
we could try some more knockout city we did that late one night i think monday night or tuesday morning um i did just download this game that i want to try but it might be too late for it let me show you what it is where is the freaking game at Ace Combat 7. Basically, I'm driving a fighter jet. Um, a fighter jet situation. I guess kind of like Star Fox. Um, or, okay, I see a lot of people saying Tails. Wolf Among Us. I've already played that. <laughs> Tails is Hysteria. The Walking Dead. Oh, yeah. We do need to do an episode. Do y'all want to do The Walking Dead or do y'all want to do, um, do y'all want to do Tales of Hysteria? I feel like a lot of people actually don't watch <laughs> the Tales games. So, just because we got a bunch of people tuning in, um... Yeah, okay. Tail Walking Dead, Walking Dead, Tails, Walking Dead. Yeah, okay. I you, you kinda just have to go with the vibe. You kinda just have to go with the vibe. This is um Steam for PC games. This is um what I use to download all of my games. So I have plenty <laughs> of them, okay? Um but all right, um, it's it's a good time to, to play The Walking Dead, so let's go ahead and do that. I'll do Tales maybe on Friday. Ooh, now I'm thinking about it. I might have a date on Friday. Keyword might. It's still a little early. We'll see what happens. All right, let me go ahead and get the stream set up. I will be right back in just a few minutes. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the game, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. We will be playing this again, and I need you all to help me get through this game. There's no way I would have gotten through this game without y'all, so please come through, okay? <laughs> Support. All right, I'll see y'all soon.